Praise the name of Jesus. This is CORE, Continuing Order, Religious Education. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's worthy. He's God. He's potentate. He's Alpha and Omega. He's our comforter. He is our rock, our refuge, our redeemer. Hallelujah. He's our rejoicing. Rejoice in Jesus. And he will answer your prayers. Tonight, we're dealing with a suffocating suffering. A, su a suffering that suffocates us. There are times in our lives, our Christian lives, that we are exposed to so much adversity, so many problems and a multifaceted attack of the enemy, of our feelings, of our fractures, of our failures, of our lack of fortitude. We there are times, not every day, that we go through an advanced attack by the enemy on us. And sometimes it leaves us just um, silent. It leaves us without answers. It leaves us without a sense of faith and fortitude and hope. And the psalmist, David, is quoting for us the fact that even in our suffoc suff suffocation, even while we're going through intense scrutiny of the enemy, that God has engineered the born-again believer to just, listen, shut down. Shut down, that is. Not to react, respond, not to figure out a way how to get out, just stop. And it's the stop that allows God to come in and to prove his worth in our lives. And in Psalm 46, a familiar passage of scripture, as uh, the psalmist is matriculating through all of the attacks on God's people, all of the uh, areas of uh, questioning what's going on around me, suffocating, not knowing when God is going to come, how he's going to come, why he's going to come, just sitting there with no answers. It is in Psalm 46 that uh, the psalmist says, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be cast into the sea, though the raw, uh, waters raw, which is another psalm, he tells us, in spite of all the racket coming in, all the attacks, all the suffocation of suffering, there are times in my life that sometimes I just want to turn the television off, sit there, and mope. And he says, be still. Now, this stillness he's talking about is don't do anything. Don't try to figure out ways to make something happen. God is shutting us down. Be still and know that I am God. There are three things in this text that I want you to hear tonight. That there are times when we are going through such suffering, such suff suffocation, uh, that God just says, be still. Be lifeless. Don't move. Don't think your way out. Don't figure out a plan. Don't respond. Don't react. Just be still. And not only be still, but listen to this. Be silent. Learn to be silent when you're being still. Because if we're trying to be still and we're still murmuring, if we're trying to be still and we're still trying to figure things out, if we're trying to be still and we're, st we're still trying to come up with uh, avenues to, 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 to relinquish the pain, you're not being silent. When he says, be still and know that I'm God, be silent and listen for God's guidance. Be still. Stop moving. Stop responding. Stop reacting. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop crying. Stop moping. Be still. And then be silent. I choose to wait on God. I choose to hear 
his voice. I choose to get his victory. Be still. Be silent. Lord, have mercy. And be submissive to whatever God is allowing. And God will give you peace. The battle has already been fought. The victory has already been won. You've already prayed in faith. You're already believing. Be still. Whether it's your kids, your marriage, your, your grandkids, whether it's your family, whether it's health problems, whether it's mental problems, psychological problems, whether it's you want to throw the talent. Be still. Be silent. And be submissive to whatever God is allowing and God will send immediate, his fourth S, strength. His strength is making me strong. His strength is making this battle strategic. His strength is helping me to overcome this suffocation. I will bless the Lord, Psalm 34, at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Lord, you said it. That ends it. I believe it. I don't know when you're coming, how you're coming, even why you're coming. But I believe that you are not only the God of peace. You give me the peace of God that passes all understanding. So when you feel like that you're suffocating, be still. Read Psalm 46. Be silent, be submissive, and be strengthened. And you will shout with praise to Jesus for shutting you down from suffocating. Take that lesson from Pastor. Just let go and let God. We love you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you and I do too.